Hello everyone, my name is Chris from Webinar Ignition and today I want to show you how you can create your own uh, custom and individual registration pages for your webinars. Mm, the only tools we are using uh, is of course Webinar Ignition uh, based on WordPress and the free version of the Elementor plugin. So you don't need to spend any further money or anything. You do not need any tech skills um, or coding skills or design knowledge or anything like this. We make this quite basic, quick and dirty. And yeah, let's jump into it. Mm, at here, I just created a new blank page on WordPress. Um, yeah, it is quite basic. Now, if you go on your WordPress backend, you go on pages and add new. And so we got this one, but this is from the theme I'm using for this WordPress development environment. You can say like this. And of course, I do not want to have the header and the footer of the theme. So if you want to making this appearing this, you go to the settings and here for page layout, you choose Elementor Canvas. And here we go. So first of all, we just want to create um, a very basic registration pages. This is imagined like for a lawyer, any, any lawyer wants to make a webinar giving legal advices or something like this. It's just imaginable, just for, for an example. So first of all, we have to make a section. This is the first we're doing by clicking the, well, do it again. You click in this plus icon here and you shows uh, the column. We just choose in one column because this is going to be a kind of header. And now here it is going to pop up. It has no content, no background color and background image or anything like this. And first of all, we want to give it a background image. So you go to the style. You have this in the navigator. You have selected your section. And at here you go background type classic. And of course here you go, I already uploaded this one. So this is just a kind that I picked up here from FreePick, any, any lawyer image, something like this. And we just select this one. So it is, it has not really much height. So we are gonna change this by going to layout and we go in it here to the height and make into min height. So this looks much better. I'm going to keep it like this and go on publishing. So yeah, and this should be our header. And then we just create another more section. Uh, again, we choose it one column. Later we put an inner section in this where we will get to two columns, but at the moment we choose in one column. So now you get this here. And then at this icon here in Elementor, you can choose all these, <clears throat> all these elements that you can add. Here are the basic ones. This is all we need. And this is, you got all this in the free version. And now we're going to select the inner section and drag it like uh, into here. So here we go. Then you see here disappeared the inner section and you can choose all these different styles you want to edit. You can select it in here. And so first of all, we want to give this a little background color and a little bit styling. So I again choose background type, but then we go, we choose gradient. Uh, this is from my theme. I put this where you can clear all these styles always by clicking this icon. So it disappeared and we want to add a color and let's at the moment we take a black because we want to make this transparent. And so here you have, once you have the color picker at here and you can choose the color tone at here and here, this is the background opacity. And we put in this to oh, maybe a 30%. Uh, come on. All right, now we got it. So here we go. And it has no content yet, but we will add it nextly. 
All right, let's go further. Now at here, we want to have uh, this in a two column style because on the left side, you got the, the info area, which uh, where you can type on what is this webinar all about and you can make a promotion video or an image if you like. You do not have to have a, a video at the moment. And it, here, this is just for demo. So, and here we select another another element that we want to include and I'm just choosing this heading. This is by default, this is heading two. For me, it is a little too large. I put this on heading three. And of course, these colors are quite ugly and do not fit to this, to this theme. This is from my default WordPress theme, but I don't know want this. I go on style and go to the text color and we choose in the white. So this is okay. And let me go to here. I prepared some text. So this will save us a little time. What you will see on the webinar. And this is our, our headline for the left column. And then we go again and add an element. And now I'm choosing a video and put this right down here. So as I said, you can choose an image or if you have a video, put it in. But for the moment, Elementor is providing some demo content for us. So this is great. And then again, I want to have some copy text here. So I choose the text editor and put this under the video. I also add here some prepared text. So I recommend you always to put your text in here. You can put it here, but sometimes this goes a little messed up in Elementor. So I put this here and, oh, come on. And I press Control V to paste it. And here, here we go. Here we got some text. And again, I do not like the text color. I want to have this in white, yeah. Okay, for now this is enough. this is okay. So, and now we just want to fill the right column and this is where we want to put in the opt-in form and the date time to select and maybe maybe we also will include some social media icons. Yeah, let's let's get into it. So, first of all, I want to make a heading. I put this here and same again with the color. This is annoying me that it is always the color I don't want. Okay, let's make this white. And then now comes the magic of webinar ignition. And this is so amazingly, I love it. You can hear, oh, I put this on my favorite, but you can use the short codes. Um, General, you find it anywhere down here. Uh, yeah, at here, at here. Uh, you can, yes, of course, you can right click on all these, on all these what you want and add to your favorites if you use it pretty often. And then it appears here at the, at this favorite section. So I'm using, uh, come here. So uh, sometimes it's a little messy to put this. So you need to hit this above, uh, down of, under the headline, I'm sorry. So, and now, now the magic comes into play. Now we go to Webignar Ignition. Uh, let me go up it here. Um, let me, let me start from the beginning. You just click on Webignar Ignition. Yes, I want to leave. So, and then you can select any webinar that you have prepared by just choosing this one. So, and then you have the navigation it here. And then you choose in design shortcodes. Here are the, the pages that you are, that are um, uh, prepared from Webinar Ignition, but we use our own in this case. And we scroll down. We, now we are looking for the, the opt-in form for the registration page. So it here's the registration page, it goes warmer. So, and here, the registration form. 
So now you have several options here. You can see only the date, only the form in compact form. And then you can you can play around a little with this. At the moment we just we just chosen the whole section. And we just copy it, this short coded here. This is all we need. So and then we added this this short code at here. And then we go to here and Control V and paste this and voila. And this is all coming. And of course the colors does not really fit in this case because of my, my theme that I've selected, but you can switch this on the WordPress um, uh, appearance area. So, and now we can do a little more. Let's... Let's put in some social, what we got here, social icons. I put this here, here we go. Let me put this to the other side. This is nerving me a little bit. And so you can add more icons, click in here. Maybe we want to have some Twitch. This is just for demo. Let me can make it look a little prettier. Yeah, your gaming, Steam. Of course, lawyers always are gamers. <laughs> so, and here we go. Looks quite pretty. Let's have a look at this. We're gonna update. And I have up here my preview page. And looks cool so far. Looks cool, but not really what I want. We wanna, we wanna style this a little more. Yeah, and to style this, we are doing, let's go back to our our editor, uh, put this in here. So as I told you before, we made this this gray background, this light gray background, we made this just black with the, with the opacity of 30%. And let's do this. We want uh, this container a little overlapping uh, into this header image. So for this, we select in our column. Hopefully this is the right. Ah, yeah, this is the section and this is the column. This is the inner section, so-called. And then we go to advanced. Um, we detoggle this so that it not make uh, everywhere the margin uh, <clears throat> the same on all sides. We just want it to the top. And then we go into minus. Uh, let's we can directly Type in what about 150 pixels? Uh, not really, I want a little more. Let's go on 200. Ah, oh, yeah, this is nice. This is nice. And now I see a 30% opacity is a little too low. And so I go back to style and the background type. Um, what the hell again? Isn't that the right one? Ah, ah, the inner section, not the column. I have to go to the inner section. And here is where we put the um, the opacity. Maybe on 30 percent, maybe we can try. We can try a 50. So 52, yep, looks great. We're gonna update this and take a look on this. Yep, here we go. Looks pretty good. And at this point, I'm not very satisfied with these sharp edges. So I want to have a little border radius for this box. And uh, let's put it on 15 pixel. So I had gone to style and to border and made this border radius to 15 pixel on each side. So we're gonna update this and yep, looks pretty. So maybe we can add a little border to this. So we go to border type, solid, put it to one pixel. I'm not sure what color it is chosen. So let's do not make it too dark. And this is quite hard to see. Maybe you can see it here a little bit, but all these, these pink borders is just for, you know, which column you have selected. So you can better see this in the preview. So I choose a darker gray with one pixel, one pixel border. And yeah, 
looks nice. Looks pretty good. So, and then we can make, where was it? Not the border type, background, where was this? I wanted to have a drop shadow. Ah, box shadow, there it is. There it is. You do not make to, I do not have to make many editings at here. Just click on this and it is adding a, a little background shadow. And you're gonna update this. And here we go. Looks a little glossy. Yeah, and this is yeah. You you need to you need to edit this on your WordPress theme. This is from my WordPress theme. This is not not the best example at this moment. But yeah, this is just for demo. And I guess it could be a little a little less. Uh, better say a little more margin at here. So we go again to column. Where is it? Uh, yeah. And we make it 250, even to less, 30, let's see, 300 pixels, and yeah, that's it, pretty nice. And there's not a little issue, because we have not, not a big contrast in this here, this is hard to read, so I just want to change this light gray background color to a darker one. And for this, we go to the page settings, go to style, and then here, oops, this was already opened, and then here at background type, we choose the color, we choose the color, oh uh, yeah, and then we select another one that is that is gonna be better to read. Let's say 38, 38, 38. Uh, yeah, let me update this. And here we go. Looks pretty. Yes, that's it. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope this is gonna help you. <clears throat> you can maybe leave a, in the comment section some, some message to me if you want more of this content. I will produce more. There are several other pages that can be built, uh, like the thank you page or the live video page or something like this. Um, yeah, um, let me know and see you in the next one. Bye, this was Chris.